Have you ever wondered what large reptiles originate from Europe? In this video we will learn about one of these interesting creatures known as a Sheltopusic or by its scientific name Pseudopus apatus. Pseudopus apatus comes from Greek Sevdopatus apatos, literally meaning fake legged or without legs while the common name Sheltopusic comes from Russian, Jeltopusic, which translates most directly as yellow-bellied. The Sheltopusic is a reptile found from southern Europe to Central Asia. It is a species of large glass lizard commonly occurring in open country, such as short grassland or sparsely wooded hills. It consumes arthropods and small mammals of which snails and slugs appear to be its favorite prey. The Sheltopusic can reach a length of 135 cm or 4.43 feet in length making it one of Europe's largest reptiles. It is tan-colored, with this color getting lighter towards the ventral surface and the head, with a ring-like slash segmented appearance that makes it look like a large earthworm with a distinctive fold of skin down each side called a lateral groove. Often mistaken for a snake, the Sheltopusic is actually a large, legless lizard. Broadly distributed but rarely seen, it's most active at night when it hunts. Due to their size, Sheltopusics usually respond to harassment by hissing, biting, and musking. They are less likely to drop off their tail than some other species that display caudal autotomy. Caudal autotomy is the voluntary self-amputation of the tail, it is an anti-predation strategy in lizards that depends on a complex array of environmental, individual, and species-specific characteristics. However, these occasional displays of caudal autotomy are responsible for the name glass lizard. The released tail may break into pieces, leading to the myth that the lizard can shatter like glass and reassemble itself later. In reality, if the tail is lost, it grows back slowly, but is shorter and darker, it may grow back to full length over time. The lifespan of a Sheltopasique can last up to 50 years. Thank you for learning with me in this video, please like and subscribe so that we can continue to learn together. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, keep wondering.